Notorious boogeyman of New York tenants, landlord Stephen Croman is back. Nearly five years after a settlement stripped Croman of the right to manage his properties, he is once again in control of his 100 property portfolio, and a month early too. Croman lost his management rights in 2017 in settling a civil lawsuit that alleged Croman had tricked tenants into giving up their rent-stabilized apartments. Following the lawsuit, Croman had to find an independent management firm to oversee his properties for the next five years, and Michael Besson's firm, New York City Management, took on the job. However, on December 8th, Croman sued Besson, claiming Croman's crooked attorney, Mitch Kossif, negotiated a bad deal that has cost him too much in management fees. Brett Meltzer, chief of the Attorney General's housing unit, noted that Benson's management firm actually wanted out. Rather than shuffling tenants to a different firm for one month, Meltzer decided, to tenants this May, to let Croman step back in a month early. Croman's tenants, some of whom formed the Stop Croman Coalition, are less than pleased, calling the decision totally unacceptable. Many tenants are fearful of returning to their own homes, asserting they have to turn their homes into fortresses just to keep Croman out. Additionally, many of these fearful tenants say their buildings are still in need of repairs and claim they have yet to see the final $2 million of the $8 million settlement Croman agreed to back in 2017. Cynthia Chaffee, founder of the coalition, concurs with tenants' fears, saying, It's the same old stuff we've dealt with. There's been no change, no improvement, nothing. With an absolute disregard of valid fears from tenants, a spokeswoman for Croman said the company has been preparing for management transition for some time now and looks forward to providing as high a level of service as it has with its other buildings. 